Hello everybody, and today we're turning this piece of soul into a batarang. Some of you might recognize this uh, piece of soul from my last video where I made the robin orang, the little throwable R. And uh, yeah, we're basically just using the same one again, so the throwable R was here. And uh, basically we cut out a piece of paper. Uh, in the shape of the classic bat fleck uh, batarang and then we mark it out in here and now we're going to cut it out so we have it over here we have just a simple metal sole and uh, we're going to start sewing
Okay boys, uh, as you can see it's almost done except for this part which is a little bit difficult and I know I said I was going to do this all with hand tools and like these are technically hand tools we were going to use these, uh, a simple saw, namely this saw but then I gave up halfway through to go for a slightly more meaty one because it, it just takes a very long time otherwise and I'm trying to finish this video but you could technically go through all of it with just that saw and uh, these simple uh, clamps and then a file which we'll get to later except um, it will take very long and I also have this vise which is a lot more sturdy partly because these um, you might have seen especially in the last bit over there um, when it was here this part kept getting loose that's because uh, this saw when you saw it, it causes this to vibrate and when the frequency of this vibration matches this vibration this starts vibrating loose and then it falls apart and then I have to refix it again. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move this bad boy onto here and we're going to saw this last part out. As you can see it's not completely sawn out here and maybe we'll try and saw a little bit more of this out. Like I think that we can probably uh, take a good straight angle down here and we can do a saw that way and a saw that way. It might be effective as getting, we want to get rid of as much of this as possible. We're going to have to finish it up with a file afterwards anyway. But like it's nice to finish it up and you see the problem with hand sewing. It is not completely symmetrical. Maybe if I'd be a little bit more accurate. But anyway, we're going to keep going. We're going to use the vise this time. I know that it's technically not a cheap hand tool, but hey, uh, you could have done it with this. It'll just mean that you have to keep reattaching them every time they vibrate loose. So uh, let's go.
Well guys, as you can see, the basic shape is starting to take hold. I'm uh, sure that if we throw it into something and we land it nicely, one of these points will probably stick in and try and toss that into there. It fucking worked, didn't it? I, it actually went in the top. That is not the way I expected it, but as you can see, it already works. We're going to sharpen it up and then it should work a little bit better. And also just polish up the edges. As you can see, I tried to cut it down as much as possible, but it wasn't, it isn't quite smooth. We're going to have to do that stuff with a file. Right, hello guys, um, we did all the filing, it now has its final shape. I did notice that I fucked up the head, I guess, like while drawing it, I kind of fucked up, because as you can see this is smaller than this, because uh, this is sort of now out of position, which is a bit annoying. As I thought, this part is like a minuscule bit larger than this size, it's not really a big difference, but I'm thinking if we file down this a little bit so it's a little bit more of an angle like that then it will be a little bit more equal this side will probably end up being longer than this side but like at the moment this one is longer and you don't really see the difference so I think it will be fine
So there you go. Looks a little bit better. This does look very long now though, to be honest. Uh, eh, a little bit better. Now I'm more in the center, but sort it out. Oh well, I mean, this is the, we try and sort of achieve what we want channel, not the, we actually achieve what we want channel. So, let's go. Now what we need is the blade parts. So I'm going to quickly research, I believe it was this side and these edges. And then just this little like pointed edge as well. But we're going to research where it has a blade. So I looked it up and the blade actually goes all the way around. So it goes down this side, this way, this way, this way, this way. The only part that doesn't have a blade is like these two curved parts in the head. So which uh, makes sense because you're never going to hit that. Like you're going to hit into something like this. And then maybe these two points will hit but like there's no use making a blade there. Uh, I would think that there's also not really a lot of use of having it here, but maybe, like, if you hit something thin, it, it cuts. And, uh, no, I guess maybe that is the point. Uh, on this point on the inside edge, I can see why you would have a blade. This makes this more pointy and more likely to stick into things. So, uh, I guess we're going to make a blade, which is basically just we kind of sand this halfway, and then sand the halfway on the other side, and then uh, we have... A sort of blade profile so I'm gonna get to that and uh, I will see you in probably like an hour maybe one and a half
Okay. So here we go. I still have to polish this whole thing up or get rid of like super glue here from when I glued the paper on and like all the markings, caution and stuff. Caution was a <laughs> pretty cool caution prototype batarang. Um, I have to get rid of that. Now you may have noticed I did not actually do them here. That is because it's, it's quite difficult to figure out how to set that up. I would probably have to like clamp it like this with a vibrating clamp and then go like that. So I think that will work. But also like I think that this would go into a wall perfectly fine like as it is. So I don't really see a good reason to do that. I mean, it goes in perfectly. So. Boom again. It's it's never gonna land on these things unless you might like land it perfectly on the edge of a table like this. But like even then, this spike would land in as well. I don't see a reason to make that sharp unless you're trying to kill someone. And uh, the less sharp edges, the better, because that means I'm less likely to cut myself. Blade. Oops, I missed the. I mi I missed the thing, and it and it went straight into my wooden wall. Uh oh. Um. We're going to stop this right now. Uh, here you can see, um, I could have probably sanded it slightly uh, nicer to get a more matte finish, but in the end I'm going to be throwing this into a tree, so um, it's it's not going to look great at the end of that anyway. Uh, it does still have these like black spots, I think that is uh, from, if you remember at the beginning of this video, the piece I used was rather rusty, and there's a reason for that, um, namely I kind of uh, used it to make that uh, Robin throwing star about two three years ago and then I kind of left it here in the back of my shed and uh, it sort of died slowly so uh, yeah now this one is uh, was sort of rusted here so most of it's gone like it used to be like proper nasty but uh, yeah that kind of sucks but it's uh, it's real nice and shiny now and polished and it has like this oily cover which is good to protect it from water and prevent it from rusting if I just uh, leave it here or somewhere else. Now, final part of this video. It's time to test the Batarang. Now, I know that I always use apples in like all my other videos. I already tested this versus an apple, so I didn't really want to do an apple again. Now, I put myself into the mind of Batman and you're like, you don't want to kill anybody, so you're not going to aim for the heads. Apples are heads. They're very small shrunken heads. Anyway, you are going to aim for one of the vital parts of the body that incapacitates people, you know. And Batman knows this because he's like specifically trained for like years. I think he trained for like 12 years straight. Maybe it was 11. 
Why do I not know my Batman lore? This is shameful. Anyway, uh, he's been training, so he knows where to hit, right? So it would be obvious to think that he would go straight for the family jewels. So we have a banana, and uh, we're going to hit the robber in the dick. Okay, here we go. First shot at the banana. Damn, the problem is the banana is a rather thin individual. It would be easier if it was horizontal. I think that was just underneath. I believe that was just above. The banana seems... Oh no, it, it has a little bit of a scratch here. It has been hit, but it has not been incapacitated. Why is the banana so difficult to hit? The apple is somehow easier to hit, although I'm pretty convinced it's smaller. We got him. You can't even see it, it's that straight. Ooh, the banana has got a full cut. That's pretty painful. Um, imagine <laughs> that was your banana. Another cut. Straight down the side, but it fell out. Stab it. God damn. I just keep missing them bananas. Well, not missing it, just not hitting them hard enough. Because obviously it doesn't get stuck in the banana apparently. Except for that one time because it got hit, hit it right in the right way. Final shot at the banana. I mean, you hit the banana on two separate places. That's pretty painful. You're not going to move that banana anytime soon. So, uh, let's inspect the damage. Let's ins I was going to say let's inspect the damage, but it decided to just slide itself out. But it, it, it got stuck. It got stuck up here and over here at the same time. That's a, that's a pretty hardcore. Look here, this is more damage. Well, this is damage. The banana's been ravaged. You don't want that to be your banana. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, this is now covered in banana juices, so I'm going to probably have to clean it off. Uh, I'm actually thinking I might paint it black. Now, I know that the Justice League one isn't actually black. That is uh, a slightly different model, the black one. The one that he uses in uh, the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight and stuff, uh, but uh, I thought it might be interesting to paint this black and maybe I'll also paint the robin some color. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see this painted.